Welcome to Marine Tech Hub. Today I will be explaining you about the viscosity controller. In this picture you can see this bar shows the viscosity. Right now it is 12.9 centi stroke and the temperature of the fuel oil is around 132 degrees 0.2. So to get a viscosity of 12.9 we need to heat the HFO that is heavy fuel oil to 132 degrees since we want a viscosity in the range of 13 uh, that is the set point which we have given here so I will be explaining you what to do when the viscosity sensor fails then you can use the temperature sensor to control the temperature to maintain the viscosity here since the viscosity sensor will not show any reading here so as per the bunker you will be able to know which at what temperature the viscosity will be 13 centi stroke so we maintain the temperature here in case you have a problem with both viscosity control and the temperature control not working then you can always open the steam manually and check the local panel so I will be explaining you in detail what I am going to tell you is in full depth so we have a control panel here you can see this is the control, alarms, view, history, setting. So what I am going to show you is, uh, you can see here, once I press the control, you have fuel oil, he heater selection, auto filter, then degassing, viscosity control, temperature control. So in viscosity control, if the viscosity center is working, then it will give a signal to the steam wall to control the steam to maintain the viscosity. That is one part. Suppose the viscosity control is not working, then you can you choose temperature control. Temperature control will open and close the steam in order to maintain the viscosity. You know that at a particular temperature, the viscosity will be so much. So you try to maintain the temperature. Then you have the auto filter of backflashing every 2 hours. Then you have the heater. In this case we have got steam heating. If the steam both the boilers are not working then you can use the electric heater. Then this is the fuel oil. You have HFO and LSMGO is the gas oil. So whenever you go to Sika area you need to change over the fuel to gas LSMGO. So this is the controls used for that whenever you change over from HFO to LSMGO a gas vapor lock can happen so we have a degassing system so that the vapor lock can be removed so I will be showing you in detail how it is you can see the viscosity control right now we have set the viscosity control to 13 centi stroke and we have the viscosity control on and off right now it is on so it will be maintaining the viscosity you have the steam wall which will be opening and closing the signal all the signals are interlinked so we have the fuel HFO now the temperature control is off we are using the viscosity control here so this is one part of the control system the other part you can see is uh, you can see the this is the bar chart here you can see how it is working so you have to keep going into one of the systems here you can see this is the temperature control system here you can see the temperature control this is off so we have set you can also set the temperature control 130 degrees so again the steam wall will open and close the viscosity control uh, if it's not working no problem so this is how we need to uh, check the full system if it is not working one of them you can use I am trying to show you uh, all the controls which we can make out while you are scrolling in between this is the uh, degassing system suppose there is a gas formation here it will automatically open and release the gas so that there will be no vapor lock in the system if there is a vapor lock the fuel will not go and the main engine can stop or even the generator can stop so we have the system in a place 
so this is one part of it I'm trying to show you maximum so that uh, if you have a system where you can always use this uh, to maintain the here you can see this is the flashing cycles you can see right now 71 minutes is remaining for the next flash it is flashing means the auto filter will be clean and uh, we normally set at 120 minutes 2 hours then we have a DP 75% the differential pressure this 100% differential pressure you will get an alarm you can manually also back flash the filter here if you press this flash then it will start back flashing it so I am trying to explain so that in case you have not uh, uh, used this kind of uh, control system then you can maneuver through all of them so that you have a better understanding of the whole system here so very important here you can see here we got steam heater if the steam if the both the boilers or whatever you know shape we have one boiler or two boilers if both the boilers are not working if you have an electric heating system you can use them for heating the fuel for main engine as well as for the generator also so this is, we got a system with us you can see right now the steam we are using steam here so one of the important thing you have to remember is you should be able to control the viscosity and viscosity is very important if you have any problem with the viscosity then you can always go into it in this picture you can see uh, right now we are using HFO here so you can see this is highlighted here so whenever you are going to the Sika area you need to change over to LSMGO this is the change over wall so before that you have to bring down the temperature of HFO to 85 to 90 degrees once that is achieved then you change over to LSMGO this is one part of the controls so this is very important so if you have any doubt regarding any of the panels which I am showing you can always message me so this is alarms here alarms time delay all are there given you can always go through that it's not a problem then you have the uh, settings then you go to the here setting this you can see here this is viscosity setting for HFO and this MDO here put 9 normally we should maintain the L LSMGO viscosity more than should be more than 2 centi stroke so if it is not then use the chiller to cool the oil to bring the centi stroke to above 2 so you normally maintain 4 to 5 will be very good the limit is given over here you can also use the temperature setting here you can set the temperature here so you need to put the density of the fuel here this is how it is so if you have any doubt regarding how to control or any parameters and you have uh, for the viscosity or anything you can always message me so this is when you come here auto filters I've shown you this again you have the interval here 120 minutes which I was talking about you can decrease the interval as per your requirement but normally we keep two hours so if you have any message regarding how to operate it and any message which you feel that you can always send on the YouTube channel so I will be very thankful to all the YouTube channel subscribers who are really interested to know and learn and run a safe ship thank you